Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Web Titan tutorial video series. In this video I'm going to go through creating and importing users and groups and give a basic understanding of their relationship to policies. Most of you will be importing your users and groups from an Active Directory or LDAP server so we'll start with that. Click on the Users and Groups tab. Under LDAP Servers for Users and Group Import, click Add. Enter the IP address of your server. The Base Entry tab will be Auto Populated. Start by typing DC and you'll get a drop down list from which you can select your appropriate base entry. The Server Login User can be a User Principal Name or a LDAP format. I'm going to use a User Principal Name. Next we enter the password. If your server has multiple domains you can specify here which one you wish to import and you can select the type of server you're connecting to. If you do not wish to import groups and just wish to import users you can disable group import and you can specify if you wish to import these users uh, every day, every minute, every hour, whatever suits. I'll select every 24 hours and click save. You can enter multiple LDAP servers if you wish uh, and import multiple batches of users and groups. To import, simply select the server you wish to import from and click the Import Users button. This will import all the users and all the groups from that server. This allows you to use any existing structure that you've created. For example, if you have groups within your Active Directory structure for say, marketing, engineering, IT, you can use those logical structures in which to group your users and then apply policies. If you wish to manually add a user, simply click the Add button under Users, enter the username, a full name and description if you wish. If you're using any of the IP-based authentication types, so that would be simple IP-based authentication, IP and LDAP or IP and NTLM. You can add an IP address or an IP range to the user here. You can also select which group you, or groups that you wish the user to be part of. Click Save when you're finished. To manually add a group, simply click on the Groups tab, click Add, give your group a name, a description if you wish, and select a policy from the drop-down list. If you haven't created your policies, just select default. We can come back and change this at a later date. Your users can be members of multiple groups. Each group has one policy applied to it. This way, your users can have multiple policies applied to We'll discuss how policies are applied in video 4. Thanks again for taking the time to go through these videos. Please continue to part 4.